Hello, my loves, and welcome back. If you're new here to my channel, I am Jacqueline. I am your manifestation bestie. If you want to manifest your best life, manifest like a boss, create your ideal life, then hit the like and subscribe button below. I would love to have you. I also have created a free Facebook group for you guys to dive into and check out, ask questions and some specially designed merchandise to help you raise your vibration and manifest faster that is linked below. You do not need to believe to manifest. You do not have to fully have the belief that your manifestation will come to you. If you think that, that you have to fully believe in the manifestation for it to come, then it's like putting the horse, no, no, it's like putting the carriage before the horse. It's backwards. It doesn't matter if you really believe or not because the law is always working. So whether you believe in it or you don't believe in it, you are always manifesting. And if you are consciously manifesting something, then that law is working for you, whether you have the full belief backing it or not. So whether you are manifesting that special person, that romantic partner, and you are waiting for them to come into your life, but you don't fully believe, that's okay. They will still come into your life even if you don't fully believe it or the money, or the car, the house, the success, the grades, whatever you're manifesting, it is okay for you to not fully back it with belief. You will become a believer when it manifests for you. That's when you start believing, and that's when you build that foundation. When it comes into your reality, when you see it working, that is when the belief builds higher and higher. And it does make it easier to manifest then, but you will still manifest whether you fully believe it or not. So release any resistance that you are holding about worrying, stressing, and doubting because you don't fully believe that your manifestation will come. Shake it off, let it go, take a deep breath, smile, relax. It is okay. You're doing good and you do not need to fully believe. This is like the secret with manifesting that a lot of people don't know. You don't have to believe. Like people manifest things all the time by doing the work but not having the belief. So release the stress and get excited about what to do to continue to manifest. Because obviously you're watching this video because you want to manifest something and maybe you're feeling stuck. So I'm going to help you to release this resistance about fully having the belief that you need and how to actually manifest. Honestly, every single time that I manifest something that I had chose to consciously create, that I set the intention to manifest and I see it show up, it amazes me to this day every single time. The power we hold in our minds, it's beautiful. It's mind blowing. It's amazing to see time and time again. It's that aha moment like, oh my gosh, I manifested that. It actually worked. The belief, it builds and builds, but every single time it's still a beautiful process to see come into your life. It's something that you will grow with a deeper and deeper conviction that you can do it and belief on how fast it can happen or how easy it actually is and how the power of your mind and manifestation actually works. But just so you know, even for me, it's always still amazing to see it work. I just hope to inspire you so that whether you have been doing a manifestation for a long time, a little time, if you've had great success, if you're struggling, that you can do it and to enjoy the process, to have fun with it and stop trying to stress about it. So that's part of the reason this video is so important is knowing that you don't have to fully believe to manifest so you can relax because the more relaxed you are, the faster that your manifestations will come. So what you need to do is to stay persistent and not stay persistent in the, I'm trying so hard kind of way. This is so hard, I'm trying so hard, but stay persistent in the kind of way that you know deep rooted within you that you may not fully believe, but you can choose to fully show up to your practice every single day. This is showing up with your affirmations, showing up with your visualization, your scripting, your acting as if, or whatever manifestation technique resonates with you. Your imagination creates your reality. So you get clear on what you want. You have the awareness of manifestation, of knowing that you can consciously create your reality. So you get clear on the reality that you want and you bring that reality forth by choosing 
to focus on it and affirming it in your mind in the way you feel is best for you. This could be affirming that it's already done, that I already have it. Whatever that thing is that you want to manifest, this is one of the easiest ways in manifestation to bypass resistance and affirm to your mind, your subconscious mind, to yourself that it is already done, that you already have it. There is nothing for you to do, but it's already yours. And then you just expect it to unfold for yourself. Or you could visualize. You could take time every single day to sit down 10 minutes a day and visualize yourself as already having the desire. See yourself in the scene of already having it and how good it feels and how happy and relaxed and proud you are. Practice acting as if, acting as if you already had the desire. Embodying it in your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts, like I already have it. I'm acting as if I'm in the position of having this desire and I'm living from this position, from this state of mind. And yes, you are not completely delusional to not realize that it's not already in your 3D, but the 3D doesn't matter. So it's you pretending that you have the desire now, acting as if, thinking as if. This is a beautiful, fast, amazing way to practice every single day your manifestation until it unfolds for you. And an easy example to explain this, because I get a lot of questions about how do I act as if, how do I live in the end? If you want a text message from somebody, you pretend you got that text message. He texts me today. He said this, this, and this. You feel how excited you are. It's done. You are so excited about it. You're acting as if it's already done. You already have that. And just knowing it and enjoying those emotions. That's acting as if until it is yours. You could choose to practice sats state akin to sleep. This is one of the powerful Neville Goddard practices to manifest. This is when you get yourself in a state akin to sleep, falling asleep at night or during the day if you want to get really relaxed. And you loop a short visualization of the manifestation you want in your mind as if it's done and you already have it. So you do this at night as you fall off to sleep or in a relaxed state so that you are getting as close to your subconscious mind as possible as you are looping the scene and feeling the feelings of how good it feels to have it and it be done. You can choose to practice scripting and there are multiple different styles of scripting you can choose to use. You could practice affirmations and affirmations are our thoughts. And I think whatever practice we choose to do on a daily basis for our manifestation, using our affirmations should go along with those. So for whatever desire you have, pick two to four affirmations that really resonate with you already having the desire. And every time you think about it, loop those couple affirmations in your mind. You want to always be affirming for the desire and for the manifestation. Practicing the law of expectation is always a golden practice to go by, just flat out expecting your manifestation. No if, ands, or buts about it, that it is yours, it is done, and is coming for you, it is on its way, you're expecting it in the moment, any moment it's gonna happen, you just know and expect it to come. You could also practice the 17 second method. There are so many different manifestation methods, I don't want you to get stressed or overwhelmed, but pick one that feels good to you, that resonates with you, affirmations, visualization, pick a good solid one that you can implement and you can stay persistent with. So you will see your manifestation and you don't have to worry about believing in it, but you can stay persistent and then you will become a believer when it shows up. Literally any manifestation technique that puts you in the place of already having the desire is your job, but fully believing in it is not. Staying persistent in your technique in affirming to your subconscious mind in any way you choose is your job, but the universe delivering it to you is not your job, but it will make you a believer. I did not fully believe that I could manifest exact amount of money that I wanted to make every single month when I was manifesting that as my goal. I set my intention. I did my manifestation practice for the exact amount of money I wanted to make every single month, but I did not fully believe. I became a believer when I started making that exact amount of money. Same thing came with when I was manifesting friends. I would visualize these friends coming into my life when I was new to the area, but I didn't believe that it was gonna happen 100%. 
but I sure was a believer when friends started coming to me over and over again after not having made any friends for a while in this area. Same thing with my dream car. I didn't fully believe, but now I have it. When we are manifesting our dream home, I sure did not have the belief that we are gonna get the dream home with everything I wrote down that I wanted. And now I sit in this home today after having manifested it and becoming a believer to the process. These are some big milestone monumental manifestations that I can personally share with you throughout my life that I have manifested. And I can sit here and tell you, I didn't believe in them. I didn't hold this big belief that they were gonna happen. But I knew intuitively enough that I was going to put my best foot forward. I was going to do my manifestation practice. And I truly believed in the manifestation process in general. But me doing it, I felt like, I don't know if I can do it. Maybe that person can do it, but can I do it? But it didn't matter. I didn't have to fully be a believer at the end of the day. I just had to show up and decide to be consistent. And I did. And now I reap the benefits of that decision. So no, you do not have to fully believe to manifest. You just have to take action and stay consistent, acting as if in any way you choose, and then you will see your manifestation come in. Then you will manifest it, and then you will be a believer. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Like it below if you did. Comment and let me know if you have manifested anything or what you are wanting to manifest. Let me know if this video helped you letting you know that you don't have to fully be a believer. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions and how helpful these videos are to you. Also, comment where you're tuning in from. I love seeing everybody. We've had India and Egypt lately. It's gorgeous. I love seeing all these beautiful different countries. So please check out my free Facebook group if you want to connect with me more and join in on the group. I have my merchandise linked below for you to enjoy. Subscribe for more manifestation videos from me. And until next time, I will see you later.